So let's hear it for our first one. Um, Brennan Reichman. Come on up, Brennan Reichman. He'll be performing the poem, And the World Will Know. And the World Will Know. Against the clouds, the sun lies. Never to be seen, perhaps it has died out, ceased to exist. The sky always gray and damp, yet the heavens relinquish no tears. The earth always cold, as though lost deep inside itself, with only cruel, relentless memories to subside itself in. There is nothing here. Not a bird, not a tree, everything has stopped. No one left to experience and die in the lost, forgotten corpse of a world, of a civilization. The water has dried, leaving a crusted, cracked floor, forever begging for a drink. Nothing to hear, see, smell, or touch, save the dank dreariness that has consumed the world. And yet still, day upon day, year upon year, centuries only to, proceed, to be preceded by more, the world will wait. The world will wait for a return. Bide its time as a shamed, despicable world. The world will wait for the sun to rise. And when the sun rises, casting a warm, lulling, everlasting growth, glow across the world, the world will slowly creep out of its prison, slowly come from the shadows, slowly bask and rejuvenate in its light shed by the sun. Yes, when the sun rises, there no one left to witness, the world will know. Yes, when the sun rises, the world will know. Okay, next up we have Sarah Plows. She's doing a poem called Polka Dots that she wrote. Polka Dots. Polka Dots here and there. Polka Dots are everywhere. On clothing and accessories. Maybe even on your knees. But more than just these you'll see. Everywhere you may look. From way up in the sky or down by a brook. The birds and the fishes, they all know. Polka Dots are the way to go. is Austin Kellenberger. Come on up. And he'll be reciting a poem titled Sea Glass. The breeze is as smooth as sea glass, swimming through the grass. I live with knights from fables who eat apples from the past. S dreams dreamt to surpass, Still stillness meant not to ask where the noise went. For that butterfly was the last that I ever saw. And yet I'm determined to smile, to sing to the moon and stay to chat for a while. I'll limp further than a mile, but then run for my life thrives when leaping into a pile of forgotten autumn leaves. My reward is a sneeze, blessed by a chorus of trees. Oh, the sun loves to freeze and forever shine upon my face as I spread my wings in the breeze as smooth as sea glass. Next up, last one tonight is Ivy Mason. Come on up, Ivy. Hey, Ivy. And her poem is called, What My Heart Brings. Whenever I think of negative things, there's always a cold chill that my heart brings. Like, I hate me, I'm ugly, this and that, but why to myself should I be so bad when I have a family, food to eat, places to go, and friends to meet, a place to sleep, clothes to wear, a great education, and pretty awesome hair. Yeah. <laughs> These are the things that I'm grateful for, but that's not all, there's much more. Shoes to tie, a good sunrise, pretty good weather, and, sorry, forgot. Oh, and great products to buy. <laughs> I'm going to end my poem today, end it now, in a special way. Because now there's a warm glow that my heart brings, because I love myself and everything. <laughs> oh my god, face off. We have a face off. Yeah. Face off. A face off between two. Two poets, because it was too close to decide the winner. So we're going to have Austin and Ivy back up. Let's give them a hand. Yay! This is called The Playground. I hear children start to.
to yell because they hear the ice cream bell. <laughs> Children sliding down the slide, climbing trees, or at least they tried. I hear many chirping bluebirds, and I hear children yelling these words. No! I don't want to leave! No! And their parents saying, please, come on, it's time to go. <laughs> then everyone leaves, and the only one left is me. And then the sun goes down. Bye-bye, playground. All right. All right. All right. This song's entitled Alpha. I long to live all the days of my life. Death will not be received when squeezing the doorknob, for I am locked away to the trees, locked away to the leaves. They encompass me, and to the earth I am a servant. Pleasantly I sit at the feet of the wisest mountain, and when I ascend to the clouds I will breathe the air of many years past and many years to come. I am immortal. And so it will seem for all the days of my life. The door is open and ajar. I am embraced by a familiar man. Death shall now sit in my place as I take a step outside of this abode and onto the stoop into a new world. The winner of the Poetry Slam is Austin Kellerberger! Cash prize and second place, Ivy Nathan. Yeah. 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 Yeah.